Well, folks, welcome back out on the beach. Fancy chances at a codlin, hopefully. So, venue wise, Salesy East Beach. Come here the other day, complete blank. It was the wrong tide, wrong time. Um, it's just one of those moments that I just needed to get out of the house. I needed to be out on the beach and do something, even though I blanked. It was still nice to be there. But anyway, back at Salesy East Beach. And uh, a few anglers are down here already. This is a Thursday night, so. You know, the word's got out that there's, there's a few being caught here and there sort of thing. So, rig-wise, so why am I using rig-wise? So, let me just untangle this rig, what I'm just doing. Rig-wise, I am just using a two-hook clip down, SI springs, both ends I'm using. Um, some people don't bother with the spring at the top, but I do. And, uh, yeah, so two-hook clip down, one rig, fairly big way, uh, uh, Gemini weight. That's the rig on that one. And the other one is a pulley dropper rig. Um, Lumi lead, as you know, I well like a Lumi lead. And I've got a bit of tubing, just so it hangs off quite nicely. And hook wise, let's get a rubbish off it. There we go, there we go. Hook wise, just a simple uh, 2-0 hook on both rigs actually, I'm using that. And the traditional bait for me, good old squid. Just got this from a local tackle shop, Costume Angling, one I'm at. Cheers buddy, as good as always. Nicely white. There we go. And obviously it wouldn't be the same without the traditional uh, frozen blacks. And, uh, that's all I could get hold of was frozen, so that's what we're going to use. Um, got my mate Mark with me. You'll probably you would have seen him on uh, other videos of uh, on my channel. Generally, we go out boat fishing as well together. But today, you know what it's like: itchy feet. You've got to get out there and uh, get out on the beach. So let's see what happens. Well, just going to have a little bait up there, just got my uh, frozen lug on and then just nipped up the old uh, squid, weaving it in and out, in and out, like so. No doubt there may be a few bream out there still that are still going to attack this, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm not going to put any cotton on at the moment, I'm literally just going to leave it as is. If I start getting a load of bream bites and it starts getting attacked then obviously I'll uh, put a bit of cotton on just to uh, try and uh, keep hold of my bait that little bit longer which can be difficult so all clipped in oh he says there we go all clipped in nice all ready to fire out there we go Happy days. Let's put that down there so we don't get it tangled up in the line. <clears throat> Let's get it fired out, out there, eh? It's a nice sort of southwesterly wind. I would say probably about a three to four. It's all looking favourable. There's a few boys out in the distance there um, that are obviously going to have some chain on the rest of it, but I don't think I'll be quite fit, uh, hitting the heights of that far out. So I should be all okay, but as the tide comes up, then I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with the groins. At the moment, the tide is going from the um, right to the left, so it's going towards the east, but later on it will be going to the west, which then obviously, as the tide comes round, I am at risk of getting wrapped around the groin there, but worst comes to worst, I can nip over to the next bay if there's no anglers and uh, retrieve my kit from that side. Anyway, let's get it out there. Off the floor casting myself, I'm not a fan dangly a good caster to be fair, I'm just a, a leisure recreational angler and a no top flight caster. But that water is absolutely 
gin clear. And she's away. Get in the old tripod. Fingers crossed. We'll be back in the codlin tonight. Just tighten this up a little bit. And the traps are set. Well, I've got my first inquiry on my right hand rod. Only a small bite, and my gut feeling is it's bream, small bream nibbling away. But let's see, let's see what happens. But it's a bite, that's the main thing, it is a bite, there's some life. Well, I'm getting loads of little nibbly bites and it's just starting to get dark. It might not quite show it in the camera, but it is starting to get dark. Got Mark in the uh, distance there. He's setting up. I don't know what he's doing actually, but it looks like he's uh, setting up a rig or something like that. But, um, he's got a couple of rods out. And hopefully it's all to play for. I will prefer it once it's dark completely. but it's absolutely a gorgeous evening and it's just bloody lovely to be out here. And there goes the other rod again. Let's see what happens. Not a big bite. I'm going to ease into it a bit. I'm mean, in the breakaway, so I'm just going to ease it through. I'll let that one back down, see what happens with it. But I'm really in the left hand rod, I think, because of uh, that being a good old rattle, and no doubt it's barely any bait left and as expected yeah worm bait's gone and not a lot left of the squid either so there we go that's what we can contend with I think the bream is still on the old attack hopefully they'll go shortly and leave us alone bit of luck anyway let's get back out there what you would expect, as night falls, the old dogger comes on to the old feed, don't they? Anyway, it's not a bad sized dogger to be fair, and it's really dark. I don't suppose you can see that too well, but it's opened its mouth. Anyway, I'm going to get it back. But yeah, a decent dogfish. I can't be, do you know what I'm I'm quite happy about that, actually. Not many times I can say I'm happy about a dogfish, but that is quite a size. And I'm quite happy about it, actually. So let's get it back, eh? Well, Mark, he's landed himself an eel. Let's go and have a look, eh? <clears throat> well, Mark's landed himself an eel. Oh, you're having fun with that, mate, isn't you? I can see. Don't know what. Absolutely tangled up, isn't it? The traditional little eel made the right dog's dinner of your traces and everything. Anyway, there we go. Well, there we go. There's saying about Mark having an eel and getting trashed up 
and directly after he uh, reeled up, I was getting a few bites. So I thought I'd have a reel up and look what turned up. A little old eel. Hey, he's a lively. Let's get him back anyway. But he trashed my rig as well. Oh, they drive you nuts, don't they, when they, they trash your rigs, but it's all part of fishing. Let's get him back. Well, an hour to high tide, no codling so far. But dogfish and eels, we've had a few of those now. I've not shown them all, but we've had a few of them. And uh, the tide is absolutely pulling like you wouldn't believe. I'm casting up tide to obviously to stop it bouncing all the way around and, um, and then going over the groin next to me sort of thing. It seems to be working and uh, yeah, so um, hopefully between now and about an hour after high tide we might pick up one, who knows. Let's see what, let's see what it produces. Well my mate said to me, Mark, he said I'm not a very good caster, and I said, look, it don't matter, it don't really matter. Sometimes the ring close, you never know, mate, you never know. And the other thing, he comes out to me, he said, what do you reckon on this? Try it, mate, try it, absolutely try it, you never know. Mark, show her, mate, what you've got and what you're using. Yeah, bring, yeah, bring it up, mate. Bring it under the camera. Yeah. Come on, Mark, show it, mate, show your fish. The little muppet. That's right. Look at that, a nice little codlin. And what do you use? A Lumi Muppet. So there we are. Yep. Cheaper than the, uh, the bait. Works a treat. Who would have thought a Muppet and Lugworm caught the first codlin for us? Happy days. That, that gives me a bit more uh, enthusiasm here now. So I think we'd best get back to it, Mark, can we? Better lend you a Muppet then. You'd best lend me a Muppet. He's going to lend me a Muppet. Let's see what happens, eh? Get in. Well, it's coming up to the, sort of the high tide. The downside as well, the weed is picking up. And so is the strength of the tide sort of thing. So it's challenging at the moment. But, you know, with old Mark catching that codlin, it's, we're absolutely buzzing. Even though I didn't catch the fish, I'm absolutely buzzing for Mark. I am, really am. So, uh, yeah, happy days on that one. Also, my own little bonus is I picked up my own little treasure. Someone else's weight and tackle and all bits of gear. I always like to see what other people are using rig-wise, just out of interest. You know, it really intrigues me what, what people are using. And, you know, anyway, it's taken out the sea, some nylon removed, obviously. So that's all good as well. Plus, I'll get my own little treasure and weight as well. Happy days. Well, that's it, folks. End of the session, it's just a little bit past the high tide. It's gone completely dead pretty much now. The bites not happening at all, you know. The tide's really pulling, no bites, that is it. But it's been all right, it's been all right. So what we had, we've had dogfish, a few eels, and obviously my mate Mark, he's had a nice little codlin there. So it's happy days. I'm, I'm just over the moon about him catching it. And uh, obviously us, uh, you know, pick them one up really, and it just shows that they are there. So that's the main thing. We're not sort of we're pissing in the wind, if you like, to be fair. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to come down again, probably over the weekend. It is a school night, so I'm going to knock it on the head now. It's coming up to about half 11. So uh, hopefully it'll be my turn this weekend. Let's see what happens. See you soon. Tight lines, everyone. Don't forget, all importantly, give us the old thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I'm really close now to the old thousand. So uh, see you soon.